So we are kidless for two days. Um, and we are headed to a house in the woods with a pond and lots of relaxation. We don't get to do this very much. We, um, maybe once a year, if that, we kind of sneak away for a couple of days. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. We just stop and get some coffee first. Now we're off. Yep. <laughs> Um, we've been just hitting little local spots so far we went to Pittsburgh downtown Pittsburgh and just walked around we found a used bookstore which always gives me stars in the eyes and uh, I got a couple of books I got a poll going on this one looks really good too I got a poll going on on Instagram to see which one I should start with because I can't decide um, <clears throat> but I'm gonna start one this weekend hopefully and we just ate a really good lunch with good quality food and um, now we're headed to our Airbnb and what did I tell you that I needed on this trip pop quiz what do I need to be happy on this trip Air conditioning, uh, something to eat at all times, and running water. And running water. <laughs> those are okay, right? Yeah. It's okay to need those things. To have a good time. I think so. I think so. <laughs> My needs aren't necessarily yours. Right. But I think he would be fine without any of that stuff. For a little while. That's one of those like opposite attract kind of things. Yeah. So. Yeah, I can figure it out. <laughs> Alright, let's go find out where we're staying. There's our bookstore. Ours. Right I love these courthouses in the middle of them. Cursing the Confederate statue while we were in the uh, bookstore. And he said he. He flips it off every time he comes to town. <laughs> oh my gosh. And now he's standing there admiring it. Yeah, well, so Adam. So Adam just said that uh, when we were like far away from town, he was telling me about this fellow that was in the bookstore talking about the Confederate statue and um then we just came back through town and the man is standing at the statue just staring up at it like what's he planning on doing oh come on people hey this is where the pickle jar cafe is yeah mm -hmm. you hungry again i mean i can always eat but no yeah this is where the farmer's market is I guess it's back here, huh? It's pretty. It's a nice place for a farmer's market. <coughs> Very excited. Very excited, excited about excited. bumpy pothole roads. Oh, really? I know.
weekend abode. It's almost like the husband got kicked out of the house and he just built onto his workshop <laughs> with the stuff he had laying around in the woods. That might have been what happened. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah. It does, doesn't it? It's like a like a man cave. Do you think they still work here? Like you think? Do you think they'll work here while we're here? Guess we'll find out. Just <laughs> Should have put that on my list, hon. What? Of what would what I need to make this a good weekend. Oh. So say it again. What is it? I forgot. Air conditioning and running water, coffee, and what else? Uh, stuff to eat all the time. <laughs> Very earthy, isn't it? I don't know if any other moms feel this way, but um, when I get time by myself, I don't usually feel like this when I'm like working um, without my kids. Like I feel like I don't have enough time by myself because I'm trying to get so many things done at one time. But when I'm by myself, or in this case with Adam, although he went fishing, so I am by myself right now. I feel so aimless, like, like, what am I doing here without my kids? Um, does anyone else feel like that? <laughs> Cause it's a bad feeling. I just like, Adam's like, sit down. Like I just keep walking from place to place 
I mean, I have changed my mind 15 times whether I wanted to read a book, take a nap, take a shower, or knit. And I haven't done really any of that stuff yet. I've just kind of been bouncing from thing to thing. It's like a real problem. It's a real problem. So I'm going to try to relax while we're here. And maybe while he's fishing, I will read a little bit. And then we're going to go eat. Like this is what I wanted. I wanted to like relax. And just get away and be quiet with him and pray um, but right now it seems like I don't really want to do this I don't know just weird just weird I guess So it's Sunday morning, um, you know, wet hair, no makeup, but I'm sitting on the most uncomfortable couch in the world and um, I've already done my Bible reading and my prayer time and just got quiet with the Lord this morning and so um, I'm doing something that I have not done in a very, very long time. I actually picked up... Um, my blanket my this chevron patterned blanket that i'm going to tell you about that i'm really um kind of embarrassed about but uh this blanket is for stella she is our middle child she is almost six years old i started this blanket when she was not born yet i'm pretty sure i might have started it right after she was born but this was supposed to be her baby blanket and she has asked me half a dozen or a dozen times, probably a dozen times since then, are you almost done with my blanket, mommy? Are you almost done with my blanket? So I'm sitting here, I'm catching up on some YouTube from some friends because we just haven't had time to watch um, any of our friends lately. So got the hollers here. I'm just catching up on those and I'm working on Stella's blanket. So it's a good morning. So we are, <laughs> oh they're probably everywhere because I had the door open. Um, we have left the mosquito infestation and we are headed in the direction of home but we have to eat first. Yeah, get you some food. <laughs> yeah. Oh I think you killed him. I saw something fall. Um, so, how did you enjoy your stay at the nice. interesting place? Yeah, it was relaxing. Yeah. Is it hard for you to relax? I don't think so. Is it hard for me to relax? It was this time. Yeah. Why is that? I guess because you fed out of place. Cause I'm a mom and I didn't yeah. have my children with me. Yeah. I think you're right. All right, so we're headed in the direction of home, and that was way Check too this garden out. too bright.
stuff going on everywhere. <laughs> no real rhyme or reason. Right. But we, I just run out of space. Yeah, because you do have you do have a plan. You what? Well, yeah, I did. I did plant straight rows this last time. Farm garden crops are straight. I guess that's how I should have said that. I think that was just the right amount of like time gone yeah. don't you think like yeah. I think if we were hours. right I think if we were gone for the whole weekend we would have been like super bored yeah. <laughs> like, like yeah, you can only play so much chess yeah uh, yeah I learned how to play chess I'm not yeah. good at it but I learned how to play yeah. <laughs> yep oh snake uh, in our next video, we are going to go over some things, some changes that we're going to make around the farm, and um, I guess that was kind of like, that was kind of my hope for this weekend was that we would just have a little space to think through some things, and Adam has already kind of made some decisions that, about the farm, and um, some things we still aren't sure about but our next video we're going to take you around and kind of um, talk to you about some things some changes and yeah is that it there's our cows aren't they cute all right so we'll talk to you on the next one <laughs>